young people, in His presence, there is a reward. An achiever in mission does not get too familiar with the presence of God. It never gets old. It's like always a first time. The presence of the Lord is a river. The more you dwell, the more you swim, the more God touches you. The more you open your hearts to Him, the more God changes us. The more God changes you and changes me. So right now, let us dwell in the presence of God. In His presence, there is a river. Let us worship Him. Yes, let's all open up our hearts and let's worship the Lord together. Lord, we thank you for you are kind to save. You are holy, you are worthy to be praised, Lord God. Oh, yeah. Everyone needs your passion, love that's never failing. Let me. another episode of Top of the List. I am Pastora Tessa, together with our two awesome young people. Hello there, Amers! I'm Chris Tran. On today's episode, we will learn about ways on how to seek God. But first, we're going to read the passage from 1 Chronicles 16 verse 11. Seek the Lord and His strength. Seek His presence continually. The scripture reminds us that we are to seek God's presence continually, not just once a week or every church service, but continually. And in it here, and yes, that's right, we are going to give you a couple of ways on how you can continually seek God. The first way of seeking God is through prayer. We can read in Matthew 6 verses 9 to 13 a guide on how we should pray. So Amers, why 
should we pray? Correct. It's to have a connection with God. Second, seeking God through fasting. When fasting, we give up food and replace it with a time of spiritual devotion with the Lord. We also open up our hearts and minds as we focus our attention to God. And the third is doing our daily devotions and reading the Word. John 1 verse 1 In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Whenever we come face to face with the Word, we also come face to face with Jesus. Why is that? Because Jesus is the Word. We have this book, this source, which contains a great amount of wisdom that is available to us all the time. It is extremely powerful and it is sharper than any double-edged sword. And Amers, remember that you have nothing to lose when you read the Word. It says in Isaiah 55 verse 11, So shall my word be that goes out from my mouth. It shall not return to me empty, but it shall accomplish that which I purpose, and shall succeed in the thing for which I sent it. The word is like an arrow. Once shot, it constantly moves until it reaches or until it hits its target. Lastly, we can seek God through attending church services and getting connected in a Go group. In Hebrews 10 verse 24 to 25, and let us consider how to stir up one another to love and good works, not neglecting to meet together, as is the habit of some, but encouraging one another and all the more as you see the day drawing near. We need the help of one another in seeking the Lord well, because we keep each other accountable. And those are some of the ways you can try doing in order to keep seeking God. Amers, always keep in mind to seek His presence continuously. So, that's it for today and see you again next week. Always remember Philippians 4.13 I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. We are Achievers in Mission. Hello there Amers, welcome again to our Amplified segment. Let us open our Bibles in Ezekiel 47 verse 1. Then he brought me back to the door of the temple, and behold, water was issuing from below the threshold of the temple towards the east, for the temple faced east. The water was flowing down from below the south of the end of the threshold of the temple south of the altar. Now we are in this series for this week's episodes about the presence of God in His presence. Yesterday, last night, we talked about in His presence. We won't run dry. Tonight, let's talk about in his presence there is a river there is a river now for our object lesson tonight i want to show you a picture and image of a river a river is a large natural stream of water flowing in a channel to the sea a lake or another such stream you see you cannot stop a river the river keeps flowing because it is headed towards somewhere you see the presence of god flows to our lives because it is headed towards something. The presence of God, the river of the presence of God is headed towards encouraging us, is headed towards miracles in our lives, headed towards provision for our lives, headed towards wonderful things that He's about to do in your life and in my life. The presence of God is a river you cannot stop from flowing. So what are we gonna do? Are we gonna go with the flow or we will just be a watcher? You see the difference between a joiner and a watcher is the word called participative. Are you participating when the presence of God is moving? When the river of the presence of God touches the people around us, your family, your classmates, your relatives, your loved ones, your churchmates, are you moving along? Are you going along with the flow of the river? God's presence flows down like a river. In our passage, it says there, the water was flowing down. Now when something is flowing down, what do you need to do? You just open your arms and receive from it. You see, God's presence flow down like a river. And I want to encourage you tonight. Open your hearts to God right now, young people. God wants you more than what you can do for Him. Psalms chapter 42 verse 1. As a deer pants for 
flowing streams supplants my soul for you, O God. You see, Amers, we long for Jesus. We long for the presence of our living God. So let us pray right now and ask the Holy Spirit to fill us. Let us pray right now and ask God to fill us to overflowing. Father, we thank you so much for your goodness. Thank you, Lord, because you are our faithful God. You will never leave us or forsake us. God, I pray for our young people. Let there be such an overflow of the Holy Spirit in our lives. Because in your presence, there is a river. We can never get enough, Lord God. We will always want more. We will always desire more of you, Lord God. Let, let, our, let our hearts, let our minds be focused, be set on you alone. Jesus, the author and perfecter of our faith. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And Amen. Always remember, you are an achiever in mission in Christ.